Hey there, happy Labor Day. I am casual. I'm wearing my Texas t-shirt. Um, that's where I got my master's in science. Yeah, that's where I started this really kind of great journey that has turned into a great career as a science educator. Um, it's Labor Day. I'm casual. Hope you are still having a good day. Tomorrow is a busy day for me. I don't usually work on holidays, but um, I needed to today to so that we could get the first of two discussions going tomorrow. They're actually ready for you if you want to start now. You do not have to work on Labor Day if you don't want to. I hope you actually don't don't even see this video until tomorrow. hope you're doing something fun. I have been up until this point now, and I'm going to in a little bit. So a QCR discussion. I showed you the guidelines briefly in class. You'll want to read those. They should be part of this announcement. Um, you always enter a QCR discussion with a question. So you should be thinking about what are the one or two most important questions that come to your mind because of reading chapter two. That's where you start. Remember the Me Too option that I mentioned in class. There are 13 of you. So if 13 of you post questions, we have a list this long of 13 different questions and the discussion goes in 13 different directions. The Me Too option allows you to shrink that list down to maybe only three or four questions by when you log in. If, you, if you're the first person to log in to post, just post your question. But if when you post, you look and there are five or six or three or four questions posted, look and see if any of them are similar to your question. If so, don't post a new question. Post a Me Too response. Begin with the actual reply to that person's questions and actually type the words Me Too. And then type a couple of sentences that um, indicate how your question resonates with the one that's already posted. So that's how to get started with the question. Then you're going to see that comments are due later this week um, and there are instructions on the comments. And the, it, so follow those instructions. And then replies are due Sunday. Now, here's the thing. Some of you love to finish all your assignments right away. And some of you want to get all of your question, comments and replies posted tomorrow or maybe even tonight um, because they're all posted. You can't do that in a discussion. And I'm sorry. You're going to have to pace yourself. The earliest you could finish this discussion would be Friday. So because you could do your question tomorrow, you could po start posting some comments as other people post questions, but you need to keep on watching those comments and not post replies until Thursday because you that's when comments are due and you want to see what all of the other comments are before you move on to the reply section. So make sure that makes sense to you. You may have a lot of free time and be able to post a lot of questions, when, uh, comments Wednesday morning. Some other people are very busy and they, since comments aren't due until Thursday, they're not going to get their, their good comments post till, posted until Thursday. So this is the Q, these kind of QCR discussions are one of the few times in the course really you really can't work ahead because you're going to miss things. So pace yourself out. Don't rush. Let me know if you have questions too. Remember, if you have questions on any of that, post it as a Canvas message to the whole class and I will reply to you. Happy Labor Day. I look forward to interacting with you this week virtually. No class tomorrow. No face-to-face -to -face class tomorrow. We have class online tomorrow.